the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit of the joints of the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth dear brethren this great unique dispensation of the church age every day being renewed in the grace of our lord to the praise of his glory and if ever our lord could ask for us as he asked about the remaining nine lepers who were cleansed but they did not seem fit to give glory to god and they left the path the one who was a samaritan falling at the feet of the master lord god almighty thanked him for which he was glorifying our lord can we be like that samaritan or are we like that lepers the word of the lord which has been given for us in ephesians 5:25 and 26 tells to us a relationship between the mystery doctrine of the church a cleansing process which has been required only when we take that here at least our lord spoke and they were cleansed of the leprosy they couldn't do any work it was the grace of the lord to heal them but the remaining nine people didn't come back same to same thing today it has been given for us to cleanse our leprosy of the old sin nature that's why god has given to you one more day so that the cleansing is not had been done properly so that we should show for the maximum glorification of god as we pass on three other stages of this unique spiritual life and show to this world by the daily cleansing and renovation of our thinking from the old sin nature to the divine view point that is why you have been logistically sustained so that your entrance into super grace life and into ultra super grace life that has to be led will be a pleasable dying grace therefore dear brethren which way you want to go you decide nine versus one we shall come back and continue tomorrow with our head bowed and eyes closed the closing moments will be dedicated to those who are here without cash without hope and without eternal life in order to tell him to lord god the father that you believe upon christ that is the moment itself we shall have this eternal truth the eternal truth for us for very simple in the prayers of your soul when you tell to lord god the father that you believe upon my lord and savior jesus christ that is the moment itself we shall have this eternal truth abiding forever and we ask for the believer the great man to grow up in grace and more of the doctrine so that you could be a pillar in the history of temple that will be recorded in heaven for us when we reach the maximum perfection of Christ through spiritual maturity and barrier and that cannot be possible if we fail to take number one priority for the word of the lord and for the pastor teachers the great man is to carry so on logan halal the word in season out of season because for the great damat from my witnesses where we have been called but i am out from my witnesses in dwelling city followed by bible in our hands and that i want to my witnesses being our hearers if there are no hearers dear brother not worry besides nature that are really possible we are hearers but our work is to rightly divide the word of the lord not worrying about the softies of the ecclesiastical displeasure or the members of the congregation or the fear of income that could be cut off we are here to tell the word to teach the word to train the people in the word and we don't have anything else than that to be done on this earth as a pastor teacher be faithful to the word jehovah's word is always right in this faithfulness he performs the work he honored his word above his name then who are we to dishonor his word on this earth by our mere human intellectual exercises by our mere human view point of standards but rather we are here to give the divine view point in its true reality of the world and explain the purpose why they have been kept alive in this church 
So, dear brethren, make sure you want to go, you decide. We shall come back and continue. Father, grateful for the privilege that I was going to fellowship with the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and grateful for these things. Help us to stay in a simple cottage and eat many of the stability, rather than staying in royal mansions. Eat great food. For this and we love the Holy Spirit, and lighten us, challenge us to be like that one, rather than those nine leapers who did not seem fit to keep love. The grace that are bestowed upon us in this church age. Help us to be like that one Samaritan. I ask you to question yourself, Lord. Amen.